Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. DRDO to push for 100% indigenous content in LRLACM program. Amid the ongoing war in Ukraine, DRDO is now pushing for 100% indigenous content in long range land attack cruise missile LRLACM program. Amid concerns and minor imported components for the missile can hit missile production amid war as seen with Russian cruise missiles and learning from this experience it was decided to go full throttle on indigenization of all future missile programs and in phases increase indigenous content in existing one. Now LRLACM, a 1,500 kilometer subsonic cruise missile will have not only all major systems of Indian origin but also minor components to have a complete ecosystem in the country when it goes into production. Next, IAF is likely to drop plans for 21 additional MiG-29 UPG. Russian offer to supply India with 21 units of the upgraded MiG-29 UPG to beef up IAF's failing squadron levels might be scrapped permanently due to multiple reasons, one being payment issues due to economic sanctions and also due to proper retirement plans already being charged for the fleet. Now, MiG-29 twin-engine multi-role fighters that were procured from 1984 onwards were upgraded to UPG standards and IAF will still operates around 65 units as a frontline fighter jet that will go through a gradual phase out from the service from 2029 onward and the full fleet likely to be decommissioned by 2035. Next. MQ-9. Now, Navy is looking to get two modular pods to hunt for Chinese submarine. Indian military plans to procure advanced MQ-9B drones are being sped, spearheaded by Indian Navy and soon a deal for which head for a conclusion as tri-service after re reassessment by a panel comprised of representatives from all three military branches agreed to procure 18 units instead of 30 units with six each while naval variant will be outfitted with anti-submarine warfare capability. Next, Indian Army plans to procure tactical and runaway independent drones. Indian Army was issued two separate expressions of interest for the procurement of 65 tactical remotely piloted aircraft systems and 10 runway independent that is RW1 I sorry remotely plot, uh, piloted aircraft system RPAS with ground control system that is known as GCS and remote video terminal RVT through fast track procedure under emergency procurement. Now, tactical RPAS RWI should be capable of vertical takeoff and landing VTOL or catapult launch should be capable of target acquisition by day and night. The RPAS should be equipped with sensors to enable transmission of MWIR or and CCD camera imagery pictures of high definition resolution. The system must be able to detect, track, rec recognize and identify the targets with up to 4000 M. That is somewhere around 13,000 feet operating altitude with endurance should be 6 hours or more. Next. Forces halt operations of Dhruv Chopper after emergency landing incident. In the wake of the incident, accident of the Mumbai coast two days ago, the Defence Forces have halted the operation of the ALH Dhruv helicopter still 
द टाइम इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स फाइंड द रीजन फॉर द इंसिडेंट एंड प्रिकॉशंस चेक्स आर कैरीड आउट नेक्स्ट Tata Lockheed Martin JV to make fighter plane wings in India. Global defense aerospace player Lockheed Martin and India India's Tata Group have linked inked an agreement for the production of fighter plane wings at their joint venture Tata Lockheed Martin Aero Structures Limited that is T L M A L in Hyderabad. According to Lockheed Martin the memorandum of understanding envisions production of 29 fighters wing ship sets with an option of additional ship sets with deliveries commencing in 2025 next air force to buy six upgraded dornier aircraft from hr The Defence Ministry of Fri- on Friday sealed a deal with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to procure six Dornier aircraft at a cost of somewhere six six seven crore for the Indian Air Force. The addition of the six aircraft will further bolster the operation operational capability of the IAF in remote areas. The Defence Ministry said surrounding announcing the contact. The Dornier 228 aircraft is a highly versatile multi-purpose light transport aircraft. Next. Twang, the Indian monastery town coveted by China, along snow-capped ridges to its north, soldiers from Asia's two biggest armies face off, sometimes just a few hundred meters apart. Last December, they clashed in what some experts saw as a worrying sign of how things could escalate twang a pilgrimage site for tibetan buddhist perched some 3000 meter above the sea level is home to india's largest buddhist monastery for this reason and because of its strategic location it's long site long been the focus of tensions between the nuclear armed neighbors next Brahmos missile firing a glaring example of hollowness of indian system as per pakistani media on march 9th last year an irresponsible and horrendous firing of a nuclear capable brahmos cruise missile which landed inside territory of pakistan had exposed the appalling technical loopholes and egregious eg- egregious Uh, handling by the so called indian command and control system the rare incident last year also created furor in india and escalated the tensions between the two nuclear armed nations the indian authorities tried to cover up the incident and ordered a court of inquiry subsequently leading to the sacking of three air force low grade officers for what it called the accidental firing of a missile into pakistan next 10% reservation for ex agni veers in bsf jobs center in a filing to the ambitious agni path scheme the union home ministry has announced 10% reservation for former agni veers in vacancies in the border security force with relaxations in the upper age limit The announcement was made through a notification after amending the border security force general duty cadre non gazetted recruitment rules 2015 and it will come into effect from March 9 thank you